The Supreme Sun God was represented as a man with the head of a hawk crowned with a solar disk and the sacred serpent. Ra was one of the first divine beings who created the universe, life and order. Each day, Ra traveled across the sky in the form of the sun, riding in his solar boat. And each night he journeyed through the underworld, where he defeated the snake god Apophis, the symbol of chaos, in order to rise again. He was reborn each morning in the form of the sunrise. His influence on the other gods was so strong that he subsumed many of their identities. Thus, Amun became Amun Ra, and Horus became Ra Horachti. Pharaoh Akhenaten's god, the Aten, was another form of Ra, the solar disk. His cult was very powerful during the period of the Old Kingdom, when some temples were built in his honor. The Egyptian kings claimed to be descended from Ra, and each called himself the son of Ra. His cult center was at Heliopolis, which nowadays is covered by the northern suburbs of Cairo. Hail to thee, Ra, Lord of Truth, whose shrine is hidden, Lord of the gods, Kepra in his boat, at whose command the gods were made, Atum, maker of men, supporting their works, giving them life, distinguishing the color of one from another, listening to the poor who is in distress, gentle of heart when one cries unto him. Deliverer of the timid man from the violent, judging the poor, the poor and the oppressed. Lord of wisdom, whose precepts are wise, at whose pleasure the Nile overflows. Lord of mercy, most loving, at whose coming men live. Opener of every eye, proceeding from the firmament, causer of pleasure and light, at whose goodness the gods rejoice. Their hearts revive when they see him. Hail to thee for all these things, the one alone with many hands, lying awake while all men lie asleep. Amen, sustainer of all things. Atum, Horus of the horizon. Homage to thee in all their voices. Salutation to thee for thy mercy to us. Protestations to thee who hast created us. us. 